Hi, in today's video, we will talk about how to use the afterstat options in ggplot. I'll be using the library ggplot2 and library dplyr. And let's check the version of um, ggplot which I have on my machine, which happens to be 3.3.3. .3. So let's use the built in data set called mpg. We are going to use the variable or data field called class. So the first plot is a bar plot which is using the count of each class and then plotting a chart which shows the count of each class of car. Notice that I haven't given any count in, in this chart and neither the data has any count variable. So all it does is it just does the counting on its own. It just counts the frequency for each group. Now, how would we get a free instead of the frequency count, how would we get the percentage? So I'm going to use another package called scales, and then I'm going to use the afterstat property. So afterstat property um, uses the count. So this is, if, if I go to John bar and if I look at the, the help, you would notice that by default, the stat is the count. So when you say John bar, it automatically knows that it, it has to count whatever variable you give there. So in, in this case, we gave class, so it just counted uh, that and then gave us the, the, the value. So I'm using that stat, which is count, and I'm saying I want to have a frequency. So I'm saying count divided by the sum of the count. So basically going to give us the frequency. So if I run this chart, you would notice that instead of the actual count or the frequency, we have got the percentage for each type of class. And I use the scales package to, to give the appropriate percentage using the scale continuous labels equal percent, which comes from the scales. Now, there's another way of doing the same thing. In the past, when we had the older versions of ggplot, and you could also refer the after stat by giving dot dot count. And so I'm using or achieving the same thing which I used with after stat by giving the dot dot count um, and, and doing the same thing. So if I run this chart, you would get a similar plot. What is my favorite way of um, representing the count and the frequency? I prefer to use um, another data set um, by using the dplyr. I simply count it and create another column called percentage. So if I do that and look at my um, environment, I would see another data set called mpg count. So it has only seven rows. The class n is the frequency, and then percentage is actually the percentage of um, of each uh, frequency. So it, it would sum up to 100. So using that data set, I could create a plot which will show the frequency as well as the percentage. So if I run this plot, you would see that we have a chart which shows the frequency and then also the percentage next to it. The scale shown as a frequency or the numbers. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.